The days were hot. Fish died in the lake, plants yellowed, birds stopped singing. There was thunder, but no rain. You call this period the Great Ecological Catastrophe. I heard my mother's heartbeat as she carried me to Alphaville. People chased us. I remember her driving and bison running by. Then we reached the flooded city with refugees in rubber boats. Suddenly, I couldn't find Mama. I was scared and alone. I'll never know whether she died or abandoned me. I only remember the rockets leaving for Mars. That night, the fighting started. I ran deep into the forest. A she-wolf found me and raised me with her cops. People who didn't make it into the rockets were dying in combat. And from the mutating environment. But we, the orphans and animals, didn't fight. Instead, together we adapted to nature that grew out of the rubble. Many moons passed, and then one day, some humans returned. They called themselves Martians. They flew around dressed in yellow. They went hunting and played golf. I would steal their golf balls for fun. It really upset them. But then one day, I found a dead Martian. I took off his helmet and put it on. There was music playing in it. After years of only speaking wolf, I listened to the Martian radio and learned human language again. After the group left, one full moon later, I was chasing a tasty bug when another spaceship with new Martians arrived. It soon became clear they were trouble. Greetings all you Tesla City Martians out there. You're listening to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. The show for those who miss a morning run in the park, slurping minestrone soup, sailing with the wind in their hair, singing in unison with thousands of people at a music concert, or smelling the coming rain. In other words, a show for the long lost days of Earth.
like water No one's son, no one's daughter I am the son of no one The son of no one I am the son of no one Starting off the show with Son of No One, a song I'm fairly certain resonates with many of us walking to the earth out here in the stuffy depths of space. Speaking of stuffy air, please don't attempt to open portal windows to let some fresh air in. It's unbelievable that we have to mention this, but we're living in pressurized domes, people. Breathing recycled air is just the new normal. In totally unrelated news, the memorial of Baroness von Wollenschitt will be held in private and the family asks gold diggers and paparazzi to respectfully stay away from the funeral ceremony being held in the Section C cafeteria on Deck 3 at 7pm. Alright, on with the show.
Ah, a little toddler pop there taking us back to the days of late stage capitalism at its finest. Child labor never sounded so sweet. On that note, it's time for another story, a look back at life on the open road, and look forward to the long road ahead. Stories, memories, yeah. the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, radio nostalgia, memories. Crying while riding a Harley Davidson is the actual meaning of it. I'm serious. I tried to recreate that feeling here in Mars. So I took a Tesla City delivery EVA for a spin on the Tunisia plane, but it's like driving a janky VR simulation. It made me miss riding my motorcycle, my jolene even more. 35, for 30 days in the blistering heat of July, I took a 4,600 mile trip across America on my motorbike. We set off from California, we zigzagged up and down the country and covered 18 states all the way up to New York City where I was to take over my father's company. Ah! During the trip, the biggest surprise for me was how much of my thinking I could put. Even the car, I was focused on staying alive at 70 miles an hour on two wheels with crazy wings fastened in all directions. So while well, my mind was this constant barrage of compulsive thoughts, those thoughts were generally practical. Like, how do I get to that destination before dark? Am I drinking enough water? Am I hydrating? The bigger picture stuff of why am I doing this and what is life about anyway? Didn't come up later. We started the trip at the peak of California's infamous orange heat wave and we rode it for five days in temperatures you wouldn't believe. Some mornings I'd have sweat dripping from my elbow before we set off. My eyes hurt from the sun. Sometimes I'd wake up so sore I could barely move. My inner thighs had engine burn. Yeah. Number 12, engage normal. I learned that I could physically overcome much more. <laughs> so after that rite of passage, I knew I could take over the company. Instead of being an entitled little brat whose father would pay for her theater career, I turned the company into a trillion dollar business. And now, here I am with my family and lives. I'm the last representative of humanity in the universe. But aside from this high-minded idealism, I've had no meaning. Because of these damn EVA suits, there's no wind on the highway here. No open air solitude that makes you feel one with the world like back on Earth. On Mars, even if you manage to get outside, you're still trapped in a bubble of your own stale air. No matter where you go, isolation comes to you. Unlike the open world, it's an experience in There's no dancing asphalt in the heat, there's no neon lit diners, and 2 a.m. omelets with green bell peppers and yellow cheddar with a side of burnt hash browns. We see bacon and black coffee. Instead, this is barren rock and strictly monitored oxygen levels and sterile bones. We live in bubbles within bubbles. I admire how far we've come and how resilient we are, but I wonder. Maybe we're just killing ourselves. Just like during my epic ride, we've mostly figured out the banal question about water and food and sanitation and the great questions What are we really doing? What is our future? What will mean life be from the trees? Thanks for listening. Thank you for taking us on that journey, Kibayana. Your story is an interesting and reminds us to face our difficulties head on and to value the small things in life. On Mars. Motorcycles, geese, Wind in the hair. What better way to remember than with some psychedelic rock? Yeah. 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 Y